Welcome to this short videos where we talk about SAM concepts and help you drive your business with us. In this topic, we talk about the advantages and benefits of NXOS as a modular, reliable and scalable data center operating system. NXOS is a modular operating system that allows just the needed code to be executed in your environment. If you are running OSPF, for example, there is no need for code related EI, GRP or BGP to be running on the system. This adds to the stability, scalability and security of the system. This modularity also allows for other listed features such as in-service software upgrades, also known as ISSU, and these two related topics regarding processes which allow for just an individual process to be restarted in the event of failure, while the rest of the system is totally unaffected, continuing to function. Other advanced features include RBAC for access control, as well as a very powerful XML API allowing fast and efficient remote administration of NXOS. Keep in mind that although NXOS was built and designed for data center, it can be used in any Ethernet environment. On this slide, we see a great representation of the modularity of NXOS. We see here how NXOS has separate families for layer 2, layer 3 and storage protocols. We see on the left how high availability infrastructure that are management structures cover the entire operability stack and on the right how modular design allows for a very addition of any future features. NXOS runs on an underlining Linux version 4.1 to 1 kernel with platform dependent chipset and driver abstraction. This architecture makes for easy adoption of NXOS to new switches and platforms. The system manager is responsible for restarting the failed processes on the system and other process related tasks. In order to accomplish process restart without losing data such as tables during the restart, NXOS uses the message and transaction services called as MTS and persistent storage services called as PSS for the control plane. Now, moving on to the data plane, Cisco non-stop forwarding and graceful restarts allow continuous operation during process restart. In the case of dual supervisors, MTS and PSS are synchronized between the supervisors. MTS is responsible for the communication of state information between the processes, line cards, supervisors and the PSS. The PSS is a database of operational and real-time information stored by processes using MTS. The data for the processes can be stored separately and is only accessible by that process only or can be made public and made available to other line cards and the supervisor. In the event of failure, system manager will restart the failed service on the same supervisor. The recovered service will use the data stored in the PSS to recover all the needed state tables to resume the normal operation within about 10 milliseconds. How amazing is that, right? Because NXOS uses hardware forwarding on the line cards, none of these process recovery will have any effect on the forwarding of the traffic through the switch. Once the process is up and running, it will read the info for the state tables from the PSS. If any changes were sent to the process while in the failed state, those messages will be queued in MTS and sent to the process after restart. Once the recovered process is fully updated, it will then make any changes needed in the hardware tables on the line cards. In the meantime, all traffic forwarding will continue using the information known in the hardware tables before the process failure. If the new process is not stable, the system manager may choose to restart the process on the other supervisor if available. 